What's going on guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to save inventories and stuff uh, using Node.js uh, You can get Node.js on https slash node.js.org Just download it, you get it And then you can also, you want to get a text editor, you can use Notepad++, you can use brackets But in this tutorial I'll be using Atom And then, we can actually go ahead and delete that So. And then just create a new folder and a new file which is going to be like doesn't really matter what you name it but steam in .js. so then you're in here uh, and then you're going to open up a cmd a command prompt and just type cd oops cd and then copy the folder name so for me it was uh, let me just locate it so you're going to locate it and then just Control C to copy and then Control V. That's not really right. It should be C here. Alright, there we go. So now you're inside this folder, and what you're gonna do now is do npm install steam dash. I'm just gonna check, I don't remember steam dash inventory slash dash steam slash inventory dash API. When you're installing it for the first time, it may take a time, but right now it's not doing anything because I've already downloaded it. So then you're probably gonna see like a folder here, but I don't see it for some reason. Uh, so then what you want to do is to first you want to get a const, which is like a variable, and that should be invent invent. Tory API we're gonna name it that and what that's gonna do is just to require uh, a file which I don't have done I haven't downloaded it so we're gonna do that but the file is gonna be dash dist slash index.js so what that's gonna do is that it's gonna require a file and the file you can download it on the github page which I will leave a link in the description oh shit that was not how I meant to do it <laughs> Clone or download and then download the zip file. So when you've downloaded zip 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 file, just open it up and you can exit the browser. Or actually minimize it. So then you'll see Steam Inventory API Master. And inside here, you're gonna take all these files and drag them to the other to the other thing that you've saved saved, the other uh, folder. That you've created so you're gonna drag them in here and now you can see they have successfully been moved and unzipped and everything like that so now you can require that and it will work and then you're also gonna create another constructor uh, which is gonna be inventory api and notice this is a big i and this or this is a capital i and this is a non-capital i and then that's gonna be equal to object dot create and then inventory api all right there we go and then you're also so that will just create like an inventory api i don't really know and actually we can comment this with like requiring index dot js file and then we're going to do an inventory api.init and that's just gonna i really know what that does i but you gotta do it basically so just create that real quick and then have you're gonna set an id of id so i'm just gonna be my like id so version v.1 why not? I don't really know. Um, and then just do this one, so a comma. And then proxy repeat. That should be to one. And for some reason it's not really showing up. So I think I'm actually gonna... Uh, I think the reason why... Because when you download it, it should get like a node, uh, node modules and it should give you a node modules but since it's not giving me one i'll just do it 
just the normal way, which I f probably works if I'm not dumb. Um, so I'm just gonna copy the node modules. You should get a mo node modules if you did it correctly. Um, with the npm install underscore, yeah. Um, and basically, if you want to s read it instead, you can go to this website or the GitHub. Um, so that's really good. All right, now it's almost done. I hope when you copy that it's not like right into the folder that you can like reuse it. But um, yeah, there we go. And now in the node modules you should find 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 um, something like the inventory API. Where there's a lot of yeah Steam inventory API. Uh, which is what we want. All right, now let's continue. Um, let's do like. Let's actually first let me think here. We're gonna have a max use of twenty five, and then request interval, which is gonna be times 60 60 times a thousand I can't really explain this part you gotta just do it I've read so and then you're gonna have the const you're gonna create a cont and which is context ID which is should be equal to two I know there is some reason why I don't really know the reason why you should have a context ID if someone do you know that just hit me up but you know what I'm saying so the context ID, I'm not really sure what, what it does, but if you look in someone's inventory, you will see like there will be a const context ID. Um, so just don't care about that, and then you're gonna have a Steam ID, and the Steam ID should be equal to your Steam64 ID, or the Steam64 ID you want to look up. So in my case i'm going to go to steam uh, steam id.io uh, which is a website where you can look steam 64 ids and then we're going to go into steam uh or actually i think I'm, i do have my yeah you just go into there on your regular machine okay no never mind i'm not logged in so we're going to open up steam on my machine if it can launch Anyway, I'm just gonna. S no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I just gotta fix. They're gonna open up Steam. If it's bugging like that, like this, it's doing. Never mind. Uh, you're gonna open up Steam. Go to your Steam profile. Or click on here and the view profile. And then the copy page URL. And then just input your. Here. And then press look up. And it should show you the Steam64 ID. Which is really great. So the Steam ID, there we go. And then we should create another cons, which is app ID. So this is for the game you want to look up. So if I want to watch, for example, CS:GO, it should be 730, which I will do const. And then we're gonna create another cons, which is start underscore asset ID, which I'm just gonna set to 130 to 730. I don't really know what that does either. But I guess you got. Uh, I'll just put it the same as app ID. And then cons, we should have a count to 5000, which is there is really no reason for to change that. So just put it like that. <laughs> and then the language 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 is going to be equal to English. And then we're gonna have a that's just self-explanatory. <laughs> Explanatory and tradable uh, which should be equal to true so it will show all the tradables so if we now try to uh, if we now try to try to run this we should do cd and then the and then the file location and then we should do 
node and then what you named it to so I named it to steam in .js I think probably did I oops yeah I did. nothing happens uh, which is kind of good and then we're gonna do we're gonna continue with the code we're gonna have an inventory API dot get uh, which what that does it basically gets the inventory uh, so this is what's gonna like get the inventory basically which is what we want um, so just open that up with a little squiggly bracket and you can see probably and then you're gonna here you're just gonna type all the stuff that we typed up there so app ID context ID steam ID start underscore asset ID count langu la lang language and then tradable all right that's about it and then we're gonna do dot then res so then we're gonna basically res so that then res which what's gonna do is that it's gonna just open that up so then it's gonna log what how many items it there is in the inventory so we're gonna console that dot log and then do these ones I think I'm not I don't, I'm not really sure how to do them on my keyboard um but yeah we're gonna do writ okay that, that that's not the right symbols I think I just copy this real quick so there and then another one right here so if you don't know how to do this just look them up on the internet or I can probably do one in the description because I've got a Swedish keyboard and I'm not wait I do have tape very why am I even looking up this in the video <laughs> anyway <laughs> let's continue it should console or it should log in the console uh, writ retrieved invent inventory and then one then it's gonna do a new line which should be all the total items so res I forgot the dollar sign and it's gonna do with squiggly brackets and res dot total so it's gonna say all the items and then total items so what this is gonna do is it's gonna look how many items this steam inventory has and then uh, and then log how many items there is so we can actually test this and before we do that we don't want to maybe go into see steam cmd and whatever so every time you do that instead you're gonna right click on or not every time once you gotta do this so you're gonna right click in the folder create a new text document and you're gonna name this uh, start and then this is important you're gonna name it start dot bat bat and then it will ask you if you want to change the file name extension you might that it might become unusable unusable and we want to do that so and then we're gonna just edit that real quick you can edit that in notepad so then you're gonna do node steam in dot js and pass so what this basically does it does it does basically just start it up and pause it if we get an errors so that's what we want we're gonna save that or hit Control s and then start this one up and right now we get some problems here we have one unexpected unexpected token dot then so I know that why that is that's because we add a semicolon at the end so we should not end we should not have that so we're gonna start that up again 
and as you can see it says requesting start undefined retries retry delay whatever we don't care about the first line we don't care about this line right but it it's retrieved the inventory one and it has 102 items in it which is all right or which is basically what i have on in my cisco inventory so uh and basically now it says 23 uh that's just because I've got some stuff that's not tradable, so if it's not tradable, it's not going to show up, which is what we want. Um, so then we can actually just Control C to terminate it, or and then just yes, uh, or just hit the X button. You could do that as well. And then you want to do, we maybe want to get the hash names and all the names of the stuff that's in the inventory that's actually tradable. So we're gonna be counting that long.